Well, first of all, as a trainer, the, the, the techniques that I believe in is all herd based dynamics and uh, really understanding the patience that it takes, the trust that it takes, the respect that it takes, and, and all the energy based components of horse training. Um, I'm a believer that you know, over 90% of horses um, communicate through energy, less than 5% is through verbal. Um, and I really, by understanding the EAL and understanding the parallels of the energy, it's, it's such a good fit um, as a trainer to see, and it really opened my eyes even, to, even at, a, at a more basic level, to see how people who know nothing about horses can benefit and understand really how more about themselves and maybe things that they've gone through in their past, it could have been five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, but sometimes using, and, and I go through this every day because every horse that comes in that I work with teaches me something new. And, but I have expectations of what I am trying to do in my partnership with horses, building that trust and that relationship. And a lot of times I don't have a long period of time to do that. It's usually you know, 30, 60, 90 days that I have to try to help a horse that has um, had to overcome a lot of things that were either taught into them or uh, negative things, negative behaviors towards them. And it could be a 15 year old horse. And so I have to do that in a very short period of time where in, in EAL, it's, it's even condensed further than that, but since there's no expectations and the horses are actually teaching the people that are coming in, I find it absolutely fascinating that even for myself, running through the course as, as a uh, participant, that it's like, wow, you know, it, it taught me a new side of patience. It taught me a, a new way to, to, to see what they may be telling me by how they're feeling, not what I have as expectations of them. So it's, a, it's such a good parallel, but it's, it's it was absolutely amazing to see not only myself but some people that help us out on our farm and seeing the groups that have come through here find parallels. I talked to one lady um, yesterday who um, was telling me about Carlos, who was one of our horses in it, and, and she said, you know, it's crazy. I learned that he had, I, and she learned this after the fact, that, that he, he had some neck arthritis, and that's why he's not doing um, fully what he was intended for, but he seems to be so perfect for the EAL program. And this particular person had some neck arthritis and issues, and she goes, I just felt such a connection and felt like they could be on the same page. So things like that, um, you know, I just, it, it makes, I, I like to say the saying, it makes my stomach smile because it's just, it's, when you can help somebody, whether it's someone who rides all the time or someone who knows nothing about horses, and it's the energy that we put into our equine partners. I see it every day when I see these people that get frustrated with their horses and their horse people trying to get their horse to do certain things and their energy is so off. And those are people that want to have a relationship with their horse. Yet you bring in someone who's never been around a horse and the horse picks up on their energy right away and the person knows nothing about that animal, knows nothing about what they're there for at the time. And so they have to make adjustments and by doing that, they find such a greatness and such a reward in what they want to do to move forward in their life. And sometimes, and a lot of times, it's life altering for people. It's, it's like better than therapy because it's it's not having a counselor telling you what you need to do and what you what textbooks say. It's using a force of nature, which we're all energy based, and using using um, the equine partner to actually say to you, "Hey, you know, I'm not okay with this." And I need you to change in universal language. That's the other thing we talked about is that it doesn't matter wherever you are in the world. Horses only know one language, and if we don't understand their language, they're not going to understand ours. That's what they're for. That's what that's what this whole process is for. So I'm completely on board with PAL. I, I think it's actually helped me in, in my horsemanship training, and I'm excited to be part of it and do whatever I can um, to work together.